Hello and welcome to our third tips and tricks video to accompany our newsletter. We'll start with looking at a quick way of adding pictures to an analyst notebook chart. You can add pictures to three of the representations available, for example an icon, a theme line and an event frame. If you open up Windows Explorer and browse to the location of the picture you want to add, you simply drag and drop the picture onto the Entity and Analyst Notebook. Notice when you're in a suitable place, the mouse pointer changes shape. We'll just do that again for our second person. You can resize the picture by dragging the border or by editing the item's properties. The easy way to make all the pictures the same size is to use the enlargement option. You can add all sorts of pictures. In this example we're going to add a picture of one of the analyst notebook own analysis features to the chart. Here we have call data and on each link is the date and time of the call. Let's use bar charts and histograms to help understand our data. And then we could add that picture to our chart. We're using the hour of the day in the histogram. And then creating a heat matrix based on the day of week. As a tip, it's worth trying to get the picture about the size you want for the best final image quality. When you're ready, choose Copy as Picture, close the heat matrix, and then paste into the chart. Note that using the menu, as we're doing, or using Control v work. Once the picture is on the chart, you might want to change the label or as we're doing, stopping it displaying. Now that works nicely, but let's try something else alongside the picture. From the histogram and heat matrix, I may discover something interesting that I'd like to highlight. As an example, there's more activity at 3am than I might have expected. When I click on the bar, it goes orange and highlights those links on the chart. Let's make those links orange and thicker and then copy the picture with the bar still orange onto the chart. There are other tools that can be copied as a picture, for example Activity View and List Most Connected. Now let's take a look at iBase. When you create a query in iBase, it looks across all the relevant records in your database. When required, you can restrict your query to only look at certain records, for example those contained in a set or from the results of another query. This is really useful for targeted questions. As an example, I have a set called People of Interest. I can use this set to ask questions such as which of these people own an Audi, which of them are in an organised crime group. To understand what it does, let's create a query based on the entity type person. Now of course if I go to results now, I'll get all the people in the database. Now let's say the people have to be in the set.
Notice the new symbol on the person entity. This reminds me I've restricted the records it will consider. Now when I go to results, I just get those that are in the set. Now let's change the query by adding a vehicle, an owner link, and then adding a condition to the vehicle that it's an Audi. When I run it this time, I get two records, the two people in the set who own an Audi. Now let's create another query that finds people in the set that are members of an organised crime group. The example shown in our newsletter shows how you could find calls made between 3 and 4 in the morning just for those calls in a set. In this case, the set was created when a specific group of calls were imported. I'm changing the output to be just the calls, that's all I need. And when I run results, I get four calls. You can also use a query as the source of the records instead of a set. Notice you get a different symbol when you use a query rather than the set in the query structure. Finally, it's worth noting that you can only use a set or a query that includes the relevant type of information. As an example, you can see I have two sets in the tips and tricks folder. One contains people, the other call records. If I create a query on person, and go to assign the source as a set, I can only use the set that includes the person records. I don't even see the set that had the calls in. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been useful. If you'd like any more information about training courses, the tips and tricks covered, or if you'd like to subscribe to our newsletter, please call or email us. All this information and more can also be found on our website. Thank you.